Hey again. Here we are for the second one. So this is like those um, just over here, and I'll show you when we're done. Of course, like I always do. Um, uh, those little gardens where they rake them out, and uh, they look stunning. Actually, the sun just came out, so let me have a quick squizzy of it. Look, there you go. Pretty cool. So yeah, there we go. Um, I'll take a proper picture of it when I'm done, <laughs> so you can see it even better. Um, so we're in uh, Alma chapter 40, verse 3. Uh, we just moved over in it. So um, they're talking now about, um, you see in verse 1, he says to um, Coriant and Alma, talking to Coriant and says, For I perceive thy mind is worried concerning the resurrection of the dead. So I kind of wonder, like, why is Coriant thinking about this and why is Alma thinking about it? Because he goes on to say, like, I've got the same questions. I've been questioning the world. I've been searching for the answers too. So what is it happening in their lives that they've thought about this a lot? Um, it's usually the things that we go seeking for, but what we're going to talk about here is seeking diligently about something. So we're focusing on verse 3, and verse 3 says, Behold, he bringeth to pass the resurrection of the dead. But behold, my son, the resurrection is not yet. Now I unfold unto the mystery, unto a mystery. Nevertheless, there are many mysteries which are kept, that no one knoweth them save God himself. But I show unto you one thing which I have inquired diligently of God that I might know. That is concerning the resurrection. So what have you inquired diligently about? Um, and what's the one thing you're inquiring diligently to know about right now? Could be something big, could be something small, could be who to marry, could be where to move, could be what to have for dinner. Um, some of the questions are big, some of them are small. For me, what to have for dinner is actually a big thing because we have a lot of allergies, so i got to be very careful. And sometimes I do need to require diligently, is this actually the right thing for us to eat today? Um, and although it's not a deep and meaningful of life, questions vary. That might be more important to you. Some people move house and don't worry about it. So it's just about a different thing. Just so keep that in mind too. Um, but to inquire diligently. And so... That's really what I wanted to focus on from that verse and link up with Doctrine and Covenants 25.4 um, and that's the chapter to um, Emma um, and verse 4, I think I marked it because it really ties in really, really well. Uh, yeah, so 25.4 says in Doctrine and Covenants 25.4 says, Murmur not because of the things which thou hast not seen. For they are withheld from thee and from the world, which is wisdom in me in a time to come. So, you know, like, the mysteries of God don't all just happen. We have to inquire about them, and we get to learn about them little bit by little bit. And if you read this chapter here, you'll realize that Alma had most of it right. Some of the points he had are a little wrong, but that's because he's still learning about it. And he openly says that. And he also says in some of them, this is just my opinion. This is what I felt. I don't know just my opinion um, and that's okay to do we're allowed to have those discussions and it's good to but always remember to come back to what the scriptures say and what our prophets tell us because that is true uh, but we're also allowed to speculate too it's okay it's a good healthy discussion um, but yeah uh, also look at article of faith number nine because that's you know we believe all that God has revealed, all that he does now reveal, and we believe that he may yet reveal many great and important things pertaining to the kingdom of God. So these things come line upon line, precept upon precept, as we study them and learn them and seek to know them. They don't just all get handed to us in a... I always think of it as being um, I love Matrix movies, and I know people go, Hey, how do you like that? Hey, it's me. Um, you know, how she's like, I want to know this. Upload this program, and you got it. It doesn't happen like that. It would be great if it did, but not yet anyway. Um, we have to learn, and it takes time. So, um, we should never lose faith in the things we already know because of the things we do not know yet. Keep that in mind too. That's really important. And this is when we're speculating. So don't lose faith um, in the things you already know. Stick to the things you know. Hopefully chat about the things you don't. See what else you can find out. And... Uh, we are at liberty to inquire of the Lord about things we sincerely want to know, just as Alma did. And in this case, it was about the resurrection. And there's some really good information here about resurrection and how resurrection plays into our lives. And, you know, because you still remember this is pre-Christ, so 
you know, there's a lot of stuff in here that's really quite good. Um, and I love her in verse 5, where he says, It mattereth not, for God knoweth all these things, and it sufficeth, sufficeth the word, me to know that this is the case. And I just love that because, you know, I really, really actually do love that because I know it. Sitting in a lot of adult Sunday school classes, people can, uh, some people can go on about things that have no bearing on the question or the lesson whatsoever. And they ask questions and get so hyper focused on it. And it matters not. The Lord's going to take care of it. Heavenly Father's got this. Learn all you can know. And if you don't know it, don't worry about it. It's okay. Just learn what you can learn. Some people are going to know more than you, some people are going to know less. It's all right. I just love that. It suffices me to know that this is the case. I trust in the Lord. It's all good. So there you go. All right. Someone's still out. Let's have a quick little, because we don't want to go over eight minutes on this one. Oh. So, I don't know. Let's see if we can see it. Over there, I don't know if you can see that um, archway thingy, the top of that, at the Italian gardens where we were a couple of weeks ago. But this is really quite super cool. Little, uh, you can see they've raked it all out and this rock kind of, that rock, that rock, um, I always sort of joke that it looks a little like Australia, I think it's a coincidence, but still kind of cool, um, yeah, we always called that America, way over there, that you could never get to, and, and people think, oh, I'll go climb over there, it's like, no, because there's like a two meter drop, that's a big, you know, thing, even though this thing's it's, yeah, there you go, all right. Now move on to the next one. I think we'll do it just out there in the entrance way because it's really pretty. Okay.